Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're actually going to be going over absolutely everything you'll need to optimize your PC. Now, this one video will cover pretty much everything you can do for free in order to optimize your PC. But before we get into this, there's a few things that you need to understand. One is what delay is and what causes it. And, uh, you know, that's about it. So basically how this works is delay is how fast something happens. So if I'm free building, right, as you see, I have like almost zero delay. Like everything happens pretty much instantly. And that's because if I open up my task manager, right, once this is open, I'll full screen it for you guys. Go to performance. CPU, I only have 136 processes open while on Windows 11. Now, a lot of people watching this video probably have upwards of 200 processes, meaning they probably have a lot of delay and a lot of FPS drops. So if you want to learn how to get that as low as possible for the lowest delay and better FPS, make sure you watch every single tip in this video and let's get right into it. Starting off at number one, we have the most obvious, which is Fortnite settings. Now, every setting I cover is going to be the best settings to use on Fortnite for like in-game settings. Now, we're going to be on full screen. I do play stretch eyes, but keep it on 1920 by 1080. V-Sync off, that setting is trash. 240 FPS. Now, if you do play like 160 or 200, make sure you cap your FPS one above whatever your refresh rate is to prevent stutters on your FPS. On top of that, performance mode, no other mode is good and it's been proven in many different videos. So performance mode is the best option for you to use on PC. And then all these here need to be off, 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 like as low as it can go, right? And then other than that, over in the settings, there's only one other thing that you should do and it is scroll down, energy saving, turn both these off. And then that is it for Fortnite settings. Other than that, that's it there's not much else you could do for in-game settings slower delay and better fps but for somebody that plays like direct 12 or 11 that will the, the few settings that it's covered will help you out a lot now let's move on to actual pc settings so you can start getting your pc right so we're gonna go ahead and actually close fortnite for this and i'll show you why so there's no other settings that involve fortnite but let's go ahead and start with epic games launcher now this is something i haven't covered in a minute and you know that's because i do cover this a lot but it's a fairly known setting and that is as soon as it stops saying running there we go click these three dots go to options and make sure yours looks just like this no direct 12 shaders no pr uh no high resolution textures and i keep pre-downloaded stream assets checks off and then you're good hit apply and you're good with that we're going to go ahead and go to settings that you 100% need to use and go into taskbar settings. Make sure everything in taskbar is actually turned off as you don't want task view or widgets on because these actually cause a lot of problems. As you can see, task view, like you could do stuff like this, which is a little weird. And then widgets is actually this. If I can open it, it's not. I think I have it lit. I think pretty sure I have it disabled. Oh, no, here we go. Here it is. Shows all this stuff, which, you know, you don't really need. So having these off does help a lot. So we're going to move to startup apps. Now, this is one of the bigger ones for getting your processes as low as possible. Make sure you only have apps on that you use. So you don't need a Windows security notification icon. You don't need none of that. You don't need Steam, Spotify, any of this. This is all stuff you can open yourself. But your keyboard, your mouse, if you use the mouse thingy. And then, you know, if you have a crosshair, you know that as well but you can also do that yourself too you know so all of that is everything you 100 percent need on and then you know other than that everything else needs to be off just the few things that you want on that so that way when you launch your pc you actually don't have a bunch already open in the background see just with the few things i have open it's already jumped my processes but yeah so you don't want you know anything to open by itself Next, we're actually going to go to system and display go to graphics. And then right here, you want to do this, click options and put this on high performance. This makes Fortnite utilize your GPU at the maximum ability. Uh, yes, Fortnite is a CPU based game, but for the little bit of GPU that it does use, it will make sure it maximizes it with high performance on GPU. And then up here, make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. And you will have to research your PC when you turn the setting on. This one down here basically just optimizes your games for windowed. So if you play Fortnite on windowed mode, turn this on. But most of you guys do use full screen as that does give you the best performance on Fortnite. So if you're a keyboard and mouse player, we're actually going to go to mouse settings and then additional mouse settings. We're going to go to pointer options and we're going to turn enhanced pointer precision 
off you do not want this checked on as that is mouse acceleration meaning when you start moving your mouse it starts off slow and then gets fast almost like a car you know how a car starts off slow and then you know slowly you know speeds up acceleration boom there you go quick and easy and then you turn that off click ok just like that let it load boom it's off now i'm gonna show you another way to do that later on but yeah there you go this is pretty much the essential uh, essential i cannot speak bro. essentials for pc settings now to move on we're actually going to go to nvidia now nvidia plays a big role in how your computer performs because well that's how you update all your drivers right also people were getting on to me about saying nvidia i know it's i'm pretty sure it's nvidia but you know who cares right anyways system down here go to system go to performance make sure you have this turned on now mine actually isn't really even working right right now so you'll see a plus and then you'll see a number of what it's overclocked by but this is overclocking your gpu and it works pretty well so i highly recommend overclocking your gpu and doing all of this as that does help give you maximum performance and fps for um gaming now this is one of the little like one of the the only things nvidia does for boosting fps other than that everything else i'm about to cover for nvidia is strictly delay so we're gonna go to nvidia control panel now there's actually one more thing that i completely forgot changing your stretch resolution does help with fps now if you want the best fps having a lower stretch resolution means you'll have less pixels on the screen so less things going on meaning better fps so the lower your res the better fps but i think the sweet spot for resolution is 1720 by 1080 as that is the one peterbot uses that's the one i use and that's the one a lot of my friends use and it's really good for fps and i personally think it helps a lot for delay as well but who knows these settings right here are the best settings for nvidia as these give you the lowest delay you could possibly have while gaming no other settings are really going to help you out that much but you know you can always try somebody else's if you do not like these these are the best for delay we're going to move on to something to help with ping now i use gear up booster now nobody likes when clicks or peter bot or somebody runs around on absolute zero ping and yoinks your wall first try because you know what really can you do right so having an app like this absolutely boosts your ping and reduces your packet loss is essential for gaming now if you'd like to try this for absolutely free you can with the link in the description as well as it will be pinned in the comment section now coming from me I do highly recommend Gear Up Booster, but keep in mind apps like this is 1000% location based, meaning if you're in somewhere like Canada, it might not work as well for somebody in like New York. You know what I mean? Because like everything is location based. Where, where you live depends on how good your ping will be. An app will not bring your ping to zero. That is just facts. It will help lower your ping, but it, not, it will not bring it to zero. You will need to live close to the servers even while using an app like this to have absolute zero ping but yes this does help and yes it will lower your ping so therefore it is 100 percent recommend recommended to um you know to use because it does help at the end of the day and it reduces your packet loss meaning your packet loss will decrease and you know that is one thing can guarantee you'll have zero of is packet loss so that's always good so if you'd like to try this for free link is in the description and um yeah let's move on Next, we're going to move on to an application that's actually in my Discord. Now, a lot of things I do cover is in my Discord. And if you'd like to join the core to see all of this, the link is in the description for you to click and join. And once you get in my Discord, the best thing to do if you can't find the YouTube stuff tab is actually type it like I did up here and then click YouTube stuff. It will take you here. Now, this, I have a pack for a bunch of different things that I'm actually not covering in this video. I got an email, Discord link, but the thing we're looking for is actually this tweet command up here. So you'll copy this, and now this is 100% free. And then we'll close this, and then right click this, and there will be terminal admin. Now, if you're on Windows 10, it will be PowerShell admin. It's the same thing, just different names. So you click that, click yes, paste it into here, just like that, click enter. Let it load, give it time, give it time. Go to tweaks click standard now it creates a restore point for you now i highly recommend making your own as that is how you change everything back now the settings i'm going to give you are the best settings for um this this app here um other than that everything else go ahead and copy this and then you click run tweaks now like i said make sure you create a restore point because that is like the only way for you to bring everything back but here we are all these settings make sure you copy 
and then you are good. And then you can click run tweaks down here. Not oh oh shut up 10. It's the run tweaks. So that is what you do. So now there's another thing I'd like to cover. And it's actually Razor Cortex. Now a lot of people don't realize that Razor Cortex actually has a option for optimizing your computer. So once you open up uh, Razor Cortex, you go to game booster. And there's actually a bunch of things in here that you can um, do. Now disabling Cortana, clearing clipboard. Um... You know there's a bunch of different different things here but once you've picked everything that you would like to optimize you just click boost now give it a few minutes it takes roughly uh, i would say about 10 seconds to actually do and then you are good and we're done just like that we're good and you can actually close this right after that and you are good to go for another thing I like to talk about it's actually enabling XMP now what XMP is it's pretty much overclocking your ram you could say but it's not really overclocking it's more like getting what you paid for i guess because a lot of the time when you order ram or let's say you bought a pre-built pc and you turn it on for the first time your ram is actually more than likely not running at its speeds now in order to know if it's running at the right speeds you open up task manager you go to memory and you look right here now what i'm circling is speed it literally says speed and it says 5200 now that is the speed of my ram and that is correct now basically in order to know if your ram is running at the speed is well you'd have to know how much speed your ram gets also if you know you do know how much and it's halved or lower than what it should be then you know that it's not running at the correct speed meaning you need to enable xmp in order to enable xmp you actually have to turn your pc off reboot it into your bios and in order to do that there's a few ways for me it's i hold my fn key and i click um i click eight or zero right it's one of the two right it's different for everybody and you know there's many different ways to get in there but once you get in there you'll see something like this which actually is the bios now bios also looks different for everybody um which is why there's a different boot option for everybody now it really depends on what motherboard you have so if we have the same motherboard it will look like this right but you know some people it's gonna look different so you're looking for something that says xmp or memory profile or something along the lines of that and you want to enable it right not disable it but enable it and that is how you enable xmp and this will actually increase your fps by so much like it's actually insane how much this one setting changes your gameplay now it's crazy that pcs don't just automatically come with this turned on and if some do well then that's great but a lot of them don't so it's really unfortunate so you knowing this little bit of information it's really useful so make sure you get xmp enabled that is everything we're going to cover in today's video now this is a video for optimizing your computer for free now this is everything i cover today is 100 percent recommended to get the lowest input delay and best fps while gaming and the lowest processes you can have now there's a few other things that you can do in order to you know optimize your computer but these are the best for free now if you did enjoy the video make sure you like subscribe also if you'd like to see more videos on how to optimize your pc click the video on screen here and i'll catch you guys in the next video